Diet food does not have to be bland and boring. It could actually be quite tasty. So if you want to find out what secret ingredients will help you make this happen, check this out. Hey guys, I'm Michelle Marie from michellemariefit.com. Welcome to Fit and Fabulous in the Kitchen with Michelle Marie. So today we are talking herbs. Now, a lot of people are scared of herbs because I think number one, they don't even know what they taste like, they don't know how to cut them, they don't know how to pick them, but it's actually quite easy. And not only do these herbs add tons of amazing and delicious flavors to your food, but it's pretty much calorie free and a lot of these herbs are good for you. So there's actually a benefit to them. So I wanna to talk to you today about rosemary and thyme. So this is rosemary and this is thyme. And you can buy this in your produce. And it looks a little bit scary, but it's so not. So let me just show you how to cut these. Uh, first of all, storing wise, if you see I have the rosemary here in damp paper towel and you just roll it up and you store it in a little plastic bag. Make sure it's really sealed. Same thing with the, with the thyme. So super easy to store so that it can have a longer shelf life. So rosemary, you grab it from the up here and then you just pull this way. So pull, kind of like you're just yanking them off the stem, just like this. So I end up with a bare stem. And then I just take my knife, put one hand on the tip, and you just run your knife through it like this. Isn't that simple? That's all it is. Now obviously, I cook all the time so I can do this pretty fast, but if you don't, that's fine. If you have to just start a little bit of time like that, it's okay. I'm gonna do one more so that you can see. Grab it from the tip and just pull down. How easy is that? I can't tell you, if you just smell this, like Rachel Ray always says, I wish there was smell vision because you would die. It's so good. So, let's talk about thyme. Let's move this over a little bit. Thyme is kind of like lemony. It's really important that you start smelling these so that you know what goes good with them and start trying them. So same thing, grab it from the very top and just pull down and you end up with just a stem. And same thing, you just run your knife through it, just like that. Okay, so now let me give you some ideas for using these herbs. So rosemary goes really well with like fruity and citrusy type things. So for example, you could put rosemary with bal just balsamic vinegar and a little bit of Dijon in a chicken dish and it would be delicious. Just basically throw it all together in a baking dish with the chicken and bake it and it is simply divine. You can add thyme, lemon, oranges and like potatoes and carrots with some chicken also in the oven. Bake it for 20 minutes. So good. Preserves is another great ingredient to have. Real natural preserves, like the real fruit, not grape jelly. And you just throw the, the preserves, like say like peach preserves in with some raspberry, with um, the rosemary and a little bit of balsamic vinegar also and pour it over a chicken and bake it. So good. Thyme is delicious on fish. So guys, start trying these herbs. They're so good for you. They're so delicious. And like I always say, it sure beats eating a plain piece of grilled chicken or fish. So I really hope that you make, put this on your grocery list and run to the grocery store and start cooking with it. Look at how easy it was to cut these. All right, guys, I'm Michelle Marie from michellemariefit.com. Check out my website, click on the nutrition tab so that you can find tons of recipes that you can use these ingredients with. And before you leave, don't forget to click on that subscribe button so that you can have access to not just my cooking and healthy strategies for recipes, but also my workouts. I've got tons of workouts and exercises to help you become more fit and fabulous. See you guys next week.